Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here, and from time to time I like to do some stuff that's not Magic the Gathering related. Um, today is one of those days. I'm actually going to open some Garbage Pail Kids. Here's a little package I got from eBay. Got five Garbage Pail Kids packs from uh, the third series. Uh, 1986. Um... Which was during my heyday as a young lad. I actually used to buy Garbage Pail Kids from the uh, Ice Cream Man. And uh, I thought they were awesome. I missed out on first and second series, which are the ones that are like worth any kind of money now. So this is just for pure nostalgia's sake um, on my part. If you are only here for magic you probably won't be interested in this but I just think they're kind of fun I wanted to <laughs> kind of revisit uh, my young days and look at some of these they're wacky fun um, if you're not familiar with it uh, I do have a lot of international viewers I don't know if they had them uh, overseas but tops for 25 cents cheap you get a pack of five stickers and one stick of bubble gum I'll try them I'm gonna eat a pack of or a stick of gum right now on camera and I'll, I'll give you my review of it um, and let's check them out uh, when I got into Garfield kids uh, buying them for myself without my parents consent and they got wind of it they took away my stack of Garfield kids can you believe it and uh, so that that tells you what kind of a sheltered childhood I let I lived so here I am reliving it now as an adult man child Let's see what I get out of this first pack. There's nothing really expensive, I don't think, in the third series. So here also is this <clears throat> over 30-year-old gum is totally stuck to this first card. Which, they're actually stickers? Oh my gosh, it's like a fossil. I'm going to eat it. You ready? Oh, God. Mmm. Well. Oh my God. It's like... Eating a like eating a stick. Mm, there's no cohesion to it. It is not going to form gum in my mouth. Okay, I'm gonna pause here while I go flush out my mouth. Oh my god. Okay. That was ill-advised. Absolutely terrible. Do not recommend eating 34-year-old gum or whatever it was. <clears throat> yeah, it was bad. But uh, you're welcome, Internet. You got that on camera at least right now. Let's check out these actual cards here. Uh, they all had uh, an A version and a B version would be the same um, picture with a different name. So you had to collect them all, right? So I got a Punchy Perry. I don't remember having this one. I'll, I'll let you know if I do remember them. Yeah, I remember Tatum Pole, or at least the uh, maybe the alternate version. So, of course, oh yeah, I remember the Basking Robin. Yeah, I had this one as well. Um, that's pretty funny. Um, so, of course, during the 80s, uh, Cabbage Patch Kids were a thing. And they were the cute, cutesy big doll of like 1984. So, this was a response to that. And, uh, oh yeah, Croak and Colin. I had this one too. Hey, I'm really dating myself here. I, I was probably in about fourth grade, I think, in 1986. That's when I was uh, collecting and really nuts about Garbage Pail Kids and G.I. Joe and lots of fun, like, little boy stuff, basically. And I've barely grown out of it, as you can tell. Okay, so up for auction on my eBay store will be this stick of gum, if anyone's interested. I'm not going to eat this one. Gosh, yeah, it's it's like a fossil. It's just broke. You break it into uh, it, it cannot be constituted into gum, right? As I just found out, it it liquefied and the sugars have broken down. Uh, thumbs down. Don't recommend. We got a Frankenstein, a Horsey Henry. It's like a three three centaur creature right there, huh? Got Broad Maud. Apple Cory, I remember Apple Cory. 
and a bruised Lee. So these may not be uh, culturally sensitive, um, just fair warning. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal, right? That was then, this is now. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging. You could send away for a t-shirt, apparently. Terrific high quality white t-shirt as shown. Just send $6.95 plus $1.25 postage and handling plus three GPK, GPK wrappers and your name, your address, your birth date, the size requirements, probably your social security number and all that good stuff too. And Tops will send you a t-shirt, probably a collector's item at this point. Um, I never got a shirt. I would have had to ask my parents and that would have hastened the demise of my collection. All right, more gum. So after a while, I think Tops and card companies just decided that gum is a bad idea because it leaves a sticky residue on your first card if there was anything collectible about that card. Humongous, got a Grim Jim. Blake Flake, hey, Sticky Rick, and a Fera Fossil. So I don't remember anybody like actually pulling these off and using them as stickers. Um, just kept them as cards. And then on the back, oh, I forgot to talk about the backs. There's like a puzzle. There's different puzzles you can put together. See, like this one is kind of the same, you know, colors. Don't know what that would have been. Some of them had checklists. So you can find a checklist or some little like kind of, there's a checklist. You can see all the A series and B series that you could get. Some of them also had, if I remember, a weird little wanted poster. Yeah, there it is. Wanted for child abuse. Your mother. <laughs> you can fill in any other mother, I guess. Also guilty of the following crimes. Aggravated assault by constant nagging. Threatening with a deadly weapon, namely dad. Throwing away your garbage pail kid stickers. Seriously, that happened to me. It was actually my dad that did it, so I'd have to write in him. And then there's the completed puzzle. So, that is... Garbage Pail Kids in a nutshell. I'm just gonna throw these out here in these perfectly curated piles. There we go. Next up, another pack. GPK. <clears throat> yeah, oh, that the gum is lingering. I'm telling you. Alright, so here's another childhood enemy. The dentist wanted for illegal entry into everybody's mouth also guilty of getting on everybody's nerves saying this won't hurt a bit and reciting the world's worst jokes as he tortures you yeah I'm not a fan of the dentist no one is okay here's I think probably the the big one out of series three is Rod Wad I think it's the first one in this series and it's totally ruined by this piece of gum otherwise a PSA 10 of these might go for a dollar so if you're interested in collecting garbage pail kids um, it's really pretty cheap to get into other than the series one and two those are actually kind of expensive I think I got each of these packs was like four bucks so they, they've, they've inflated over time at least from 25 cents to four bucks you know it's, it's worth hanging on to here's the barber he's guilty of drawing blood three times in ten minutes cutting your hair the way he wants to and practicing brain surgery without a license really clever stuff you know there's Rod Wad Liberty Libby Glandular Angela and this course would not play today um, yep distorted dot and Charlotte Webb gross these children they've subjected them to all these gross things parents take them away yeah Mostly they're harmless, I think. I would let my kids play with these. My wife not, might not, though. Let's see. More gum. Oh my gosh, it's like totally stuck on there. Yeah, it's going to take the whole sticker with it. Wow. Well, that one's ruined. <clears throat> yep. Paper with it. So, no gum in trading cards nowadays. Got a babbling brook. Now is uh might go for like a BGS 9.5, 9.0, something like that. It, it might still be okay. Wanted for hoarding. 
the cheapskate using the same calendar for 12 years straight, <laughs> lending money at 79% interest and collecting money at 89% interest. Honestly, that's just good finance right there, right? Nothing wrong with that. So, we got a Rocky and Roll. Little Elvis riff there. We got a Warm and Norman. <laughs> Another culturally insensitive one. Oh, here's a slob. He's attracting vermin from afar as away as Afghanistan. <laughs> Impersonating a to toxic dump site and coloring his clothing without using a dye. Yuck. Hilarious. Apple Cory. I remember this one. And Bruce Lee again, so I got a duplicate. So I think that was it for my Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, if anyone wants some gum, let me know. Um, might just throw these in randomly to uh, some patron boxes. Uh, but I had fun. Um, besides now needing to go get like mouthwash um, anyway thanks for watching give me a like and a subscribe comment down below catch you on the next one